Pizzas are everyone's favorite. And what if you get a homemade and a healthy version of it? Yes, you heard that right. Pizzas can be made with all sorts of things. And today, I have a gluten-free version for you. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani. Welcome to Ratri Food. And let's begin with the recipe for gluten-free bhakri or bajra pizza. So starting with warming some water for the dough, just slightly warm it, it shouldn't boil. So let's add some water in this pan. Turn on the flame. Next, I'm going to start with the first process of the pizza, which is making the base. So I have one and a half cups of pearl millet or bajra flour over here. Make sure you sieve it through the finest sieve that you have. And now let's add in the remaining ingredients. Two tablespoons of rice flour, salt to taste, two pinches of baking powder, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder. The water should be warm enough. Turn off the flame and now into the flour, I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of oil. You could even use ghee if you want. Give all these ingredients a good mix. Add in a little bit of water. Since the water is warm, mix it with a spoon. Once you feel it's cool enough for you to touch, start kneading it and binding everything together. Knead it properly and make sure you do not rest the dough for more than 5 minutes. Let's start rolling the dough. Take a portion and make a round ball. Make sure the dough is nice and soft. Dust the ball with some bajri flour. Over a parchment paper or you can take two sheets of plastic, we're going to roll the bajra base. Let's start rolling this in a thick sheet. Roll it in a thick roti, not a very thin roti. Very carefully peel the top butter paper. Cut it with any kind of a sharp edge lid or a bowl that you have so that we get nice round pizza bases. And now very carefully, we are going to place this over a medium hot pan to roast. So pick it up with the butter paper only and put it in the pan and peel off the paper. Medium flame, let it roast for about 30 to 40 seconds on one side. Meanwhile, let's make another one. Make sure you dust the dough ball and the parchment paper with dry flour. Every time you roll a new base. We need to flip the one on the pan, so very carefully. Once the other side is cooked as well, let's flip it over. Apply a little bit of oil and flip it again. And now let it cook on one side completely. I'm going to flip it and check whether one side is completely done. It's beautifully browned and it's ready. So let's remove this from the fire. So basically I've cooked one side completely and one side is half cooked. Let's get it out. For more tips and variations for this pizza, stay tuned till the end. And don't forget to catch me every Monday on Rajri Food. Meanwhile, let's make another one in the same way. On the side, which is completely cooked, I'm going to apply the pizza sauce. You can place any toppings of your choice. So I'm just going to place some shredded onions, some capsicum cut lengthwise. Create any cheese of your choice. I'm also going to place some jalapenos and black olives. Sprinkle some Italian pizza seasoning and some red chilli flakes. This pizza is ready to go on a pan and I'm just going to keep it on the side and check on my other base whether it's ready. 
It's beautifully cooked on one side. Let's get it out. While I get the next pizza ready, this one is ready to bake. So I'm just going to cook this over the pan only. Just drizzle a little bit of oil and slow medium flame. Let it cook and make sure you cover it with a lid. Let's check on this. The cheese is beautifully melted and the crust is also nicely cooked. Let's remove it from the pan. So this takes about two to three minutes to cook. Let's place the other one. Drizzle some oil. Cover. And let it cook. This one looks ready too. So this pizza makes a good healthy nutritious snack for kids. I'm sure you won't mind making them often. So do give this a try. Let me know how it turned out. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bajra is very warm for the body. So if you're eating this during summer, make sure you do portion control. You can use other millet flours like ragi, sorghum, etc. And for the toppings, you can use any toppings of your choice like baby corn, mushroom, yellow corn, colored bell peppers, anything. If you're making these pizzas in a large quantity, you can make the paste and keep them in advance. Cook one side completely using oil and the other side half done. On the side that you've cooked completely, spread the sauce, place the toppings, cheese and then cook it.